Hey guys, welcome to Shaka Tutorial Part 2, where hopefully I do a better job explaining this video editing software and answer any questions you guys had from the last tutorial video. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get started with the video. So right now we're here at the official ShotCup website where you can basically install this video editor and it's really simple. All you have to do is click right here and it will actually take you to a different page where it gives you all the versions of ShotCut in the Windows form, Mac OS, and Linux as well. And right now currently I'm running the 64-bit Windows installer but you can also use the 32-bit. It's just basically what your computer can handle and it will give you the current version which is the 18.08 and I have left a link in the description underneath that like button so it can take you to this same website so you can download it but now that i have it let's go jump in shotcut right now okay guys so we opened up shotcut and here we are this is basically how it's going to look like um when you first open it up but if you have a different version or if it's in a different color don't worry about it it's basically the same thing so right now in front of us we're going to have our preview window so we're going to watch our video right here and how it progresses throughout we make our edits and in this window over here we have our playlist filters and properties page and basically you're going to add all your videos or your files here to the playlist and add any filters that you need to and of course down here we have our little timeline and you can see all these little toggles that we can move it and um, make any adjustments if we need to but this is our timeline you're going to add all your music files um, video file everything you need to just to make your edits and right now we can add some extra tools like I do have right now the audio peak meter so this is basically gonna measure how high or how low the video file is and if there's any distortion throughout the video I can just move it and toggle it from here and fix it but if you don't need any of these just close it here in the button but since I do need it I'm gonna go up here and just push it back and there we have it so yeah, this is basically how the page is going to look like, and that's basically it. So let's get started and make our video. Okay guys, so we're going to open our files that we're going to need. So we're just going to hit that little button, the open file button, and it should come up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to pick is our music. So I'm just going to go, I think it's Linusco Birth, and we're just going to click and drag it. That is simple as that. So we're going to go to our clips. Now I think I'm going to choose the intro of the EJ Tech intro like always. It's just going to be very basic, nothing any, nothing complicated. So we're just going to click it and drag it. Drag in place, it's as simple as that. So we're going to get some gameplay, Rocket League gameplay. Okay. And if it loads, we're going to get our outro, our subscribe template. Okay, so I know it's kind of laggy and it's not my, um, it's not OVS, the one I used to um, get uh, screen capture, but it's basically the, basically shot cut and slow. It's, it's general, generally slow, but it shouldn't stop you from using it. So right now I'm just looking for a lower third or an overlay as you guys use it to put it overlay over our video. So you can, it can be text or stuff like that. So we're just going to hit open. And then there we have Aura Files, EJ Tech, the Rocket League, and our subscribe template. And our like PNG, of course. You can do this with any pictures or any stuff like that. So we're going to go to our timeline, and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And we're going to go over those three little bars, and we're going to open our audio track. And then we're going to open our video track for the main video, and insert track for our overlay, or lower third, but you guys can use it for video for videos like face cam or anything else like that for pictures text and stuff like that so right now we're going to pick our first one and our intro and we're going to drag it down to our video track making sure making sure not to leave any space guys that little green space in between because if you do once you export it it's just going to be black until the video begins so i know it's kind of laggy but um <clears throat> shotcut is basically a very good beginner editing software so you can get in the habit of editing so you can see that little green space I'm just going to drag it here trying to make it as as neat as possible guys so it doesn't leave any blank spaces so as you can see in the preview window right there let's see if, there we go in the preview window right there you can see the EJ intro so we're going to pick our Rocket League gameplay our main piece of the um video 
And a lot of people have been asking me to, how, how do you trim in Shotcut? So basically all you have to do is pull that little arrow once you select your clip, that little arrow, the blue and red one. And that's basically trimming your clip. So we're gonna trim it where we wanna begin it, where we wanna start it, I mean. And I just don't want it to be very long. I don't want it to be a very long video because I want to export it kind of fast. So we're going to do the same thing to just to fix it wherever we want to start it or end it. You can do it the same thing for music too. So I think that's pretty good. And once you're done, all you have to do is basically click on the video itself right there. And then you, just, you can just drag it to the timeline. And trying to be careful not to leave any green spaces. Okay, I think we have it. It's just little, it's just loading. As you can see, Shotcut is not a prestigious or very professional editing software, but it's very good for beginners because this is where I learned. And now I'm moving on to Sony Vegas. Well, it's kind of big. All we have to do is just, just zoom out, zoom in to it, zoom out. I don't know. Making it smaller, and there we have it. It's a pretty long clip, so another way to trim it is also by grabbing it by the end, as you can see right there, and just pulling it. Pulling it until, um, the I guess, the size you want it. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me right now because it's, um, because it's just gonna be a normal video. I'm, it's not leaving anything out. It's just gameplay video. So I think we have it right there. I'm just gonna zoom in into it a little bit more and then there we go that's a good size guys so basically you can just mess around with it right now we're going to add a filter a fade in filter you guys had questions on how to add fade ins and transitions so i'm just going to add this little clip that says fade in and you can see it actually adds a shadow to the clip so as you can see i'm just going to pull the little video a little bit back so you guys can see how the fade in works so you all you have to do is go to filters Hit that little plus sign and just add fade in. Now, I don't, I don't know if you could see that, guys, but it kind of faded in. I think I'm just going to drag it back so you guys can see a little bit better. So, basically, it just fades in black. As you can see, I know it's kind of laggy, but once you export it, it's pretty good. It's really smooth. And as you can see, that's basically slow-mo for um, fading in. It, fade in. it fades in really nice, and once it's exported, it's going to be nice and smooth, no lag whatsoever. So we're going back to our playlist and add the last element to our video, which is our outro. So I think we have it down. And it's just going to be loading. And yet again, we have to cover up all that green area. And another, another transition that Shotcut has, it doesn't have so many, but another one is actually um, overlapping it. So right now I'm showing you how you guys can put it side by side, but if you take it and overlap it with a second screen, with a second clip, it will actually create this little purple and green, dark green, dark blue um, area where it actually transitions and you can see it right here. And basically what it does is overlaps each other into like a really nice smooth fade in effect. So I'm going to try to show you, you guys that right now. So I'm just going to put play. And then it will actually fade in. You can see it really slowly. Yet again, guys, I told you, um, once it exports, it's going to be nice and smooth. And I'm actually going to show you um, the final, oh, what's it called? The final clip all edited together. It's fast and easy, nothing too, nothing too major. But this is basically a general idea to give you guys some ideas how to edit on Shotcut. So I think we have it, that's pretty good. And now we have to go to our overlay or PNG, lower third, emoji or text, whatever you guys wanna call it, or are using for your video. But right now you have to put it on the track above. So right now I'm actually kinda messing around with that little transition, making it, I mean, not so big, but not so small. Making it kinda subtle, I uh, made it too big. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it right now. Okay, there we go. As you can see, you can mess with the size and duration of it. It's pretty, basically your preference. But now back to our overlay, our lower third, the like. Every time I say, hey guys, why don't you like or subscribe? This is what I do. Well, this is what I used to do. Now I use Sony Vegas. But right now, those little three bars, make sure there's only on one because it's on three. It's going to give this this black um, background and you don't want that. You want it transparent. So leave it on one and you can actually make it however 
long you want it or duration of your overlay you can just drag it by the end and you can you can make it last however you want so you can make it short or you can make it long but right now I'm just gonna leave it at good size so you guys can see how it works and I think that's pretty much it yeah and I'm gonna go to filters and I'm gonna add the overlay so you can see me hitting filters and hit that um, plus sign and fade in video I'm also gonna fade out and it's basically the same exact thing all you have to do is just hit the second fade out video so two different icons you can see the little shadowing so I'm gonna show you how it looks as you can see it's kind of dark but it's just gonna it's just laggy but once you export it, it's gonna be all good okay there we go so right now of course shotcut doesn't have so many transitions but right now what I'm using is Sony Vegas and you can add more options to basically how you want it how you want the transition over so right now we're gonna add some music into it some little music all you have to do is click and drag into the play to the playlist onto the timeline so I'm just gonna make it match the gameplay because I don't want it over my um, EJ tech intro Okay, so that's kind of long, but we're going to cut it down and we're going to trim it. I mean, right now it's not going to be exactly perfect. It's not going to be perfect, perfect just because I'm just, it's a little demonstration to show you guys. But let's see how the final version of it comes down to it. So I'm just going to estimate it right there. And, oh, okay. You actually, okay, so the, if that's the start, you actually have to pull it back all the way. There we go, and we can just stretch it. A yeah, little rough estimation, but it's pretty good. You guys can add to it more detail when you're editing your video. So that's basically it. Right now, we're just going to mess with the volume of it. So what you want to do is go to the filters again and fade in audio. So this will make it um, come in soft, but then reach its normal, normal volume. And then fade out audio again you click the little audio the little circle and we're gonna actually put the volume a little bit down because it's going to be pretty high so we're gonna go to gain in volume in the filters area with the little circle and we can mess with this level we can actually mess with it how high or low the actual song is gonna be so I'm gonna pretty I'm gonna leave it pretty low and you can actually measure the audio frequency and the audio peak meter to make sure there's no distortion and stuff like that but that's pretty much it that's that's i mean it's not that bad and for the gameplay it actually has some noise but it's not i mean i'm not gonna you can do the same thing you can go to gain volume but i'm just gonna leave the audio of the gameplay just how it is because i just want to listen to the gameplay and some background music but you guys can t totally turn it off if you want to all you have to do is click the little gameplay video and then just go to the filters gain volume and put the volume all the way down and that's all you have to do to get rid of any video noise whatsoever so i guess this is pretty much it i'm gonna cut to the to the scene i'm gonna export it for you guys right now and let's see how it goes off so this is pretty much a really good solid video so right now we're just i think yeah we got oral elements overlay music transitions and we're gonna it's time to export it so you're gonna hit that little export button and you guys right here can pause it can pause the video and copy all these um settings down if you guys have your own settings that work for you then good for you guys you can use that but right now you can pause the video i'm going through all the settings right in the screen and you can pause it so yours can match mine if you want to so we got the other audio the codec and video and this is just strictly for um exporting we got the mp4 and stuff like that and right now we're going to hit the export file button and make sure you guys you can go back and pause it anywhere so you can get your information so right now we're just going to name it and put a file name and i think i'm going to put shotcut to tutorial whatever video and hit a save and basically that's pretty much it guys we just made a pretty solid video uh, yet again i'm going to show you how it looks like in the final but you should get that little little button little um jobs thing this little area i don't know what to call it but this little black area and the percentage of the actual render but i'm not going to make you guys 
watch the whole render so I'm just gonna cut it right about here and I'm gonna show you what the finished product looks like yet again you guys can see all these settings for the export file you guys can pause it go back to and watch it just so yours can match mine but if you got your own settings work with that so that's pretty much it guys this is this is a really I don't know how long this is going to be, but this is just a tutorial, hopefully more in-depth tutorial on how to help you guys make your own videos. So I'm just going to cut to the part where I show you the whole video as a whole once it's done exporting. So that's pretty much it guys. See you on the next one. Okay guys, so the video stopped rendering. It's done. We finished it. Um, it was pretty dis decent. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't... Um, it didn't took very long so i'm kind of glad it was pretty quick and especially it's a really short video so that's what you kind of expect with shot cut but i just finished watching the video it's pretty decent it still has some minor uh issues but nothing too big uh, just alignment on the audio stuff and that's pretty it um that's pretty much it but it's a very solid video and hopefully this tutorial helped you guys um, so yeah, if you guys got any other questions, leave them down in the comments because I'm going to be hanging around there, responding to people, answering some questions and stuff like that. And I've been thinking of making a series with Shotcut. I know I didn't answer any everybody's question in this video, but hopefully I, if I do make more series on how to like, how to add overlays, how to add, um, transitions and stuff like that, specifically topic questions based on shortcut then i think i can make a series out of that but you guys tell me what you think down in the comments and like and subscribe um for more videos yeah so i mean i'm gonna show you what the final version what the final video looks like and right about now and hopefully you guys enjoyed it so cut to the next scene <laughs> Okay guys, so this is pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I helped you answer any questions you guys had. But if I didn't, leave your questions down in the comments area below and I will respond to you as soon as I can. So I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and don't forget to let me know down in the comments if you would like to see a series on Shotcut um, to answer any questions you guys had. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.